Reaction tonight from both sides of the issue after a Springfield administrative officer ruled four properties which provide housing for parolees are violating city zoning regulations. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard live outside those properties now. Kimberly, what's going to happen to the people who live there? Vince, at this point, everything is really still up in the air. Dave Kettlecamp, who owns some of the properties that you see here behind me, has not turned our, returned our calls tonight, but some of the men who call the House of Rainbow home have told us that he has really helped them turn their lives around. That might not be enough, though, for them to legally continue their stay. Kettlecamp faces a $300 a day fine for each house until the four homes in question are in compliance with the zoning law. The houses are zoned for residential use and not as a rehabilitation facility for former Department of Corrections inmates. The fines begin racking up April 30th. No official word on it, Kettle Camp and his attorney plan to argue the case further, but Alderman Sam Kamen, who represents this area, says he has to go someplace else with his mission. This is a, you know, a laudable uh, effort that uh, Mr. Kettle Camp is doing. He just has to do it in the places where it's legal, where it's properly zoned. As the hearing officer, Judge Holmes, pointed out in his opinion, there are many places in the city that are zoned R3, and he could operate in any of those areas legally. The case has already been through several appeals. Back in January, Kettle Camp applied for a zoning reclassification, which was denied by city council. He then took the case to the city's administrative court, arguing the homes fit the definition of a family dwelling and not rehabilitation homes. But that, as we mentioned, was rejected. The next step would be to bring the case to Sangamon County Court. But that would be something that Kettle Camp and his attorney would want to do before that April 30th date, because, again, that's when those fines start racking up. And, again, still no word on if they are going to take this case any further. Live in Springfield, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20. Kimberly, thanks so much. Neighbors in the area have spoken out against House of Rainbow, saying four homes full of parolees do not belong in a residential neighborhood, especially after several former House of Rainbow residents were tied to violent crimes, including murder in Springfield.